wanting people to listen, you can't just tap them on the shoulder anymore. Coalition, we have like five, five, six in-house producers. We have Fireman, Congo, Cron, Nunu, C. Wood. Um, but uh, for this one, for this one, I, uh, I stay, I stay up there at the Ugly Radio Studio and just be, I feel like I be bugging them, you know what I mean? Like, prime, prime, man, that dude to me, that's like, it's, that's the one, like every, every, every beat, I, I go up in there and I, I gotta go, cause it's just too much, like an overload, a brain overload. Five man, he be coming out with these, these beat tapes and stuff. And then I hit him up like, yo, 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 you know what I mean? I, I got, yo, I need this one. Extend that one. Give me that one. Um, Nunu, Nunu is, Nunu, oh, I, I, I can't explain. Nunu's crazy because she got that other, other stuff. Nunu was so ill, I had to give her her own, like, track on the joint. Like, Nunu did the, the Let My People Go one. And that was, that's like a portrait. Like, you know what I mean? It's like a. It's like a portrait, so I just just let it go. Well, basically, that's what I felt in my mind anyway. But it was a little, you know, we had a little misunderstanding with that because when I first asked for that, she wasn't trying to she wasn't trying to call she wasn't trying to answer my calls or nothing. I was like, yo, I I need this. I know I know exactly what I wanted to do with it, and what I wanted to do with it was exactly what I did with it. Like nothing, like. That was it by itself. And she told me, she said, yo, well, I, I really don't want nobody like spitting on this. And I'm like, yo, I, that's crazy because I wasn't even considering spitting on that. That's just something that had to be up there and played in its entirety. She, and she, you know, she thought that it was gonna get cut short or whatever, but now I had to play that because it fit perfect for the scheme the grand scheme of things for the whole project. Uh, my man DLO, hit, you know, he blessed me it's crazy because I had that track for like, like not a, years, yo, years. And I had the lyrics for it for a minute um, for the man saying joint. And, um, and like just somebody that's real important to me and, and just, I can give a lot of credit to my, my, just my dedication to what I do and my perfectionism to try to be perfect with this is, is uh, my man Prime Bangers, yo, he, he blessed me with two joints, he blessed me with uh, the Black Brilliance and um, the Black Brilliance and my people, so that, because he's, we we that's what we do. We've been doing this before coalition and stuff and everything. I was I was the young dude coming in and he was like, Word, yo, you know, my man Daddy E brought me to him. You know, Daddy E was doing his thing, you know, with his with his group. And he just they didn't have the time to, to bless me the way I needed to be blessed. But uh yeah, all the producers they, they did me very, very well. Very well. And you know, the, the topics, the concepts of songs, they, that was just, I didn't want to be too preachy. And um, I didn't want to lose people's interest, but I had to come off with it and try to be creative. I feel I, I did a good job at that. I didn't want, I wanted every song to be its own entity. You know what I mean? So you have the outbreak. You have like from Man Tan to Bulletproof. To the secret. I didn't want to just get all spitterific on people on every joint. You know what I mean? I, I did that. I did that with um with the struggle for real. So I, I didn't want to do that with this. I, you need. I needed to be me. I already knew what PA was capable but capable of and my my style. But I had to save that. And I was just hoping that throughout time and be a patient that I'll be around to make this, you know what I mean? And, and it's here and it's done. 